Well, first of all, uh, hats off to SIUE. Brian does an unbelievable job with that group. They just play with such a toughness and a physicality. I feel like the Wright brothers have been there um, forever. And, uh, and so, um, you know, they, they, they really had a great career here so, and, and all those guys. And so they've had a great season. And so that was a very quality opponent. Um, but I'm really proud of our team. You know, we've been working to get to this point um, and, and really put both of sides of the ball together. And I thought we really did that here tonight. Our defensive effort was phenomenal, holding them to 36%. Did a great job on a really, really good player in DeMarco Minor, um, holding him to, to only nine points and uh, just, just making life difficult. They had 14 turnovers and just uh, it was great execution defensively by our group, and then I thought we did a great job of just playing together, sharing the ball in what was a really tough physical game uh, that SIUE was playing. Questions, Mike? Can you talk about just the confidence level that's grown here the last four years together? With this team having feel we're having that? Yeah, well, you know, we got this team together and we knew that we could be really special, um, so we've you know, we wanted, we knew we needed to be playing our best basketball at the end of the year so that we could play for something really, truly special. And uh, we've been that way all year. We hit one little skid that was a few weeks ago, and um, that's part of it. But, you know, it exposed some things that we needed to get better with, and we certainly did, and credit these guys, um, and getting healthy as well. But, yeah, you want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year coming in. And so I think this is four straight wins of 18-ish or whatever that may be. Um, but we're not worried about any of that stuff you know we're worried about the next game the next play and and executing but it certainly does help with confidence as it should november december a long time ago but you guys played some really tough games some tough places was there value from that that is still out there now i mean is, is, is that a part of this yeah without question without question you know uh, this team's been great on the road all year you know we we won uh, a lot of road games in the non-conference and then here in league play, we played some Big Ten opponents and uh, SEC teams and, um, you know, those things really helped us to accomplish what our real goal is of just getting better. They showed us some things we got to improve on and, again, credit these guys for having the humility to come in and do that, but it certainly does give you confidence and we want another crack at one of those teams, you know, and we know that we got to we got to take care of business here in Evansville to be able to do that. Yeah, without question, and that, that's who they've been all year long. You know, these guys know that, you know, there's no pressure on the game. The pressure's on the preparation, you know, whether it's a 50-minute shoot-around throughout the season or a 20-minute one that we get right here and credit them. They can really flip that switch, get locked in, and bring great energy and be efficient with the time that they have in order to get themselves prepared. And when that horn blows and it's done and it's over, we're ready to roll. And uh, that's the same mentality they've brought all year. Yeah, they make me look like a good coach. I tell you, these guys, they, they're awesome. Um, you know, J2 making some really good plays with the ball and, and for himself and for his teammates. Riley being a, just an absolute warrior down there and, and, and rebounding the ball and doing some unbelievable things. But, you know, um, you know Andrew Thelwell was phenomenal tonight. He had the, the assignment of, of guarding DeMarco Minor. I thought Khalil Thomas was as, as unbelievably hooked up, and then he was the beneficiary. These guys doing a great job with their execution, sharing the ball, and getting some really good looks. It is rare to have a semifinal round in any league with three co-champions. Yeah. Are you kind of looking forward to, I mean, you're your own game thing, but are you looking forward to what the league just, the kind of show it could put on tomorrow night when you have a match? Yeah, without question. I mean, we have a great league. Got a lot of great coaches, a lot of great players. And so, um, you know, sharing the, the, the title with those three, the regular season, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, we're all happy to be in the same conversation with one another because we have great respect for each other. But, um, yeah, you know, the whole, the whole nation's going to be watching tomorrow, these two semifinal games, and then on Saturday, and that's what OBC basketball is. And, uh, you know, our league is a great basketball league, and we get the opportunity 
uh, to kick off March Madness each and every year. And so it's very worthy of having three teams that are going to have a ring this year playing on Friday night. Brian, talk about this being your first ACC tournament. Oh, yeah. Oh, it, it felt it felt amazing. Um, I've been in a couple conference tournaments throughout my career in college, but but this was definitely one of the better ones. Just the atmosphere and the competitive spirit that we brought as a team. I feel like down the line, one through fifteen, whole support staff, everybody, we were locked in from the jump, and it, it made it easy to go out there and play hard and leave it all out there. So I can can. Like, I give it to my teammates, and, and they give it right back to me, so. For sure. Um, it was just, we was, playing, we was battling, we were getting stops, and so our offense wasn't, you know, we wasn't seeing the ball go in as much as we would like to, so I just think just, just we, the faith we have in each other and the confidence and the belief we have in each other. And my teammates trusting me and me trusting my teammates. And, you know, at a certain point, you know, shots are going to start falling. So I think just the confidence that we have in each other and it just carried over into the whole game. For both players, I mean, it's a one-game event, right? Yeah. Um, how Uh, I'll go first. Um, I feel like that's the reason I came here. I knew the program that Moorhead State had and the culture we had could get us there. And that was my one reason for coming back for another year of college because I was deciding whether to go pro or not. And um, I feel like we're right where we want to be. Um, we got a great system that allows us to play freely and, and trust each other and go out there every night and compete. And I feel like when we're competing at, a high, at the highest level, nobody can beat us. So um, it makes it easy to come here for my last year. And, and we're right where, as I said, right where we want to be. And it, it's going to be special, for sure. Um, for myself, I would, I would say it's huge. Like my whole life and my childhood is all you want to do is play in the NCAA tournament. And just getting recruited here. And I just knew I wanted to play for a winning program and a winning head coach. And, when I was getting recruited, they had just lost in the championship game. And so my eyes was lit, lighting up, and I was just super excited to get on a team that was competing for championships. And, and so we we taking it one game at a time, and I just think we we knocking on the door into accomplishing that. JT, the, the, the look you had in your eye tonight, when your, when your shot started falling, you saw that in Indiana a few nights ago. And it was fun to see that smile on that, that, uh, that glow in your eye. Um, I just say energy is contagious and just putting it in the right places and just giving off a competitive edge to my teammates is, is something that, that you can't replace. And so you love when shots fall, but even when shots don't fall, like getting stops and, you know, having energy for each other, that's the, that's the biggest thing you can do for your teammates is give, give positive energy and give a competitive edge. So I just try to bring that night in and night out.